Hello YouTube, this is Jesse Ferguson, the Bard of Cornwall here, and I've just got a quick video on a tip for making your folk songbooks, or any kind of songbook, more usable to you. Now if you're like me, you collect folk songbooks, if you're a folk singer or whatever, or just some other kind of musician, and uh, unless you are, you know, strictly someone who gets them off the internet, which I find a lot of the time the... Uh, a lot of the websites that list folk song lyrics and things like that have a lot of inaccuracies. They're not really well edited, for one thing. Um, so the better place to get those kind of songs is from songbooks. And if you have any songbooks where the edge is like this, a squared off edge, which they call perfect bound, then the problem you get as a guitarist, or in fact a pianist, is that they don't lie flat when you're trying to play it. Now this one's not particularly bad. This is the... Uh, Folk song, Songs and Ballads from Nova Scotia by famous ethnomusicologist Helen Crichton. And my Irish songbook, the Clancy songbook, Clancy Brothers, uh, was like this as well. And uh, basically, yeah, that's the basic problem is that they don't lay flat when you're trying to read them. Now this one's not too bad uh, because it has the good binding where they're actually sewn in together. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in on that the pages are actually sewn into signatures, which is why you get that little sort of scalloped edge there. Boom, 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 boom. Now on even cheaper books, it's not sewn in. They don't sew these little bunches together with thread. What they do is they just glue the edge. And after a while, when you're trying to read these books, while you're playing guitar, you have to smash them flat, sort of, and it ends up breaking the binding and so on. So, if you can, buy these higher quality books where they sew the edge in, like this is my American Folk Songs book. You can usually tell because they'll have a piece of cloth there on most of them, and it's sewn in that sort of scalloped edge. Uh, or you can get these ones where they're stapled, and those will lay flat pretty well. Not just the middle, but the other ones will lie flat. These are the Walton's uh, 100 Great Scottish Songs, 100 Irish Ballads. Highly recommend these from Sudlam, I guess is the publisher of that. But it's Walton's. There's the ISBN in case you're curious. These will lie flat. But what do you do? And here's one from Stan Rogers, the Stan Rogers songbook, a great uh, Canadian folk singer and songwriter. And spiral bound is really what you want. Basically, that's the nut and the long and the short of it. For playing on a guitar, with a guitar, or on a piano, you really want this so it lays completely flat. You don't have to bother trying to put a weight on it or something like that, or that the binding will eventually break on you. So, what happens if you've got some books like this, or you can't find the book you want in that kind of a binding that's really good? Well, you can take it, I found out, to your local office supply store. I went to the, the office supply store called Staples here in Canada. Um, but a lot of these larger scale uh, office stores will have a similar service. So what they did is they took a book that looked like this on the edge and they used a big industrial shear and just cut off the spine, the meaning this part of the book. And then they spiral bind it. They punch the holes to spiral bind the book. So now my Irish songbook from the Clancy Brothers will lay perfectly flat, which is exactly what you want for, uh, for playing with guitar. So, how much did it cost? It was, I think, 5 or $6 Canadian. So you're looking at a book that cost me $25. To add another $5 charge on top of that, makes it, you know, infinitely more usable to me. And how many years will I have this book? I'll probably pass it on down to my son, assuming he takes up my interest in folk music. Uh, so, $5 well spent. I also did it with my Beatles songbook, um, which was also one of those spiral bound, or uh, a perfect bound one, so I turned that one into a spiral bound book. And any other book that I have that's gonna be in that vein, I'm gonna do the same thing. It, they turned it around in about an hour, and it, they did a great job. I imagine your local you know, office supply store could do the same. So there's a little quick tip for any book you've got that's hard, it won't lay flat whenever you're trying to play with it on a, at your guitar or mandolin or whatever the case might be. Um, for five bucks, you can solve the problem for the rest of your life, basically. Um, so there it is. 
This is Jesse Ferguson, the Bard of Cornwall. I hope you found that interesting, and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.